What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com, coming at you once again from Chiang Mai here in Thailand. And I'm coming at you again with another video today based on the topic of freelancing. And today I'm gonna to talk about pricing, how I charge my clients, how you might wanna charge your clients, the different types of pricing models that freelancers can use, um, hourly, fixed, that kind of thing. And maybe give you guys some advice on, based on my experience for how better to charge your clients. So I was having a discussion the other day with somebody and we were talking about pricing and um, the subject came up, they were working on a project and they had given their client a fixed rate for the project and it was a website I believe that they were building and they started to go over on the job. And it's a common story, like we've all been there where we give a fixed rate project, either we underestimated the work or the client is adding to the spec of the job. And what, ten what starts to happen then is your hourly rate goes down and down and down the more and more you work on that project. So you might start off saying this is gonna be 10 hours at $50 an hour. And uh, so you're gonna be making $500. And it might turn to 20 hours. So ultimately you've made $25 an hour. And nobody wants to be in that position. So the way I, I, I found myself stuck in this position a lot actually, and it's quite common in web development. And the reason being is for a job that's like 500 to 1,000 dollars, the amount of time that goes into filling out a very, very detailed spec, uh, unless it's gonna be factored into the price, a lot of the times it's just skimmed over and missed. Um, so that creates a real challenge with um, dealing with clients and, and getting a getting the point across to a client that this is the scope of the job and this is what you're gonna be paying because, you know, from the client's perspective, they're hiring you as a professional to deliver on something that they don't really understand too well. Um, but from your perspective, you understand it too well and the project could go in so many different ways. It could be built so many different ways. Um, there's so many variables to it. It's very, very difficult to give a fixed price. So the way I get around this and, and what I said to my friend the other day who was, uh, who was, going, who was working excess hours on the job that he quoted for is I never ever give a fixed price for a project. I don't like fixed price fixed price work. Um, I never ever sell a website for a fixed price. And uh, this this does particularly relate to web development. If you are do, if you're in a different niche or a different industry and you're freelancing, perhaps it is easier for you to give fixed prices depending on what you're doing. But I'm just really talking from my own experience here. So I really don't like giving fixed rates on on, on projects. I don't sell. A website as a product. What I do sell and what I do give a fixed rate on is my time. So I work on like an hourly fixed rate model. Uh, so essentially I do charge by the hour. Uh, however, if a client of mine wants a fixed rate for a website project, I'm happy to give an estimate. So if I feel like a project is going to take 25 hours, I'll give that estimate, that, that, that figure. Um, but I make very clear to the client when they are paying for the project that they are not paying for a website. They are paying for 25 hours of my time. And this is what I said to my friend, and this is something you guys should do. It's kind of a combination of fixed rate pricing combined with hourly pricing. And the great benefit to it is you're able to give a fairly decent estimate to the client the client is able to get a fixed sum that they think that, that they are pretty sure they're going to be paying. Well, based on your estimate, it is an estimate. It might be higher, it might be lower. But the client is able to have a fixed number in which they're, they're, they're able to uh, pay for. But also, under the clear understanding that when you are building a website, there are no uh, physical, unless you look, talk like licensing for software and themes and plugins and stuff like that, but really there are no actual physical expenses, it is a purchase of time. And when you are developing website projects for clients, I recommend you do this, especially if, if the client wants a fixed rate. You can give the client a fixed rate, but give them a fixed rate for a block of your time. And I implemented this uh, a good while ago, and um, talking quite a few months, and it's worked out really, really well. It's really, uh, so like I said, I've, like many freelancers who do web development, I've been in that position. Uh, the client doesn't like working on an hourly basis, because I mean, if you're not giving an estimate and you're saying, okay, well I charge 50, 60, 70 dollars an hour, let's see how many hours we spend, that's not attractive for a client whatsoever, because they don't know how much they're gonna be paying. 
and giving a fixed rate is beneficial in some some regards uh, because if you work really fast on a project and you can get the job completed quicker you actually make more money but more often than not uh, especially working with small to medium businesses you can't give a huge fixed rate on a project so uh, you want to you want to you want to give the best deal possible to the client but also you don't want to get screwed and and that tends to be what what happens and it's not the client's fault it's not anybody's fault it's just the way the development goes it's um it's unpredictable and uh you know the client is not necessarily always clear on what they want um and it's it's hard it's hard to scope a full project right from the start you know so this is a great combination it's just i thought i'd put it out there i said it i put it out there to my friend the other day and he thought wow that's a very good idea and uh, maybe you guys will benefit from it as well so it's kind of like a combination of hourly and fixed rates so give your clients fixed rates but give them a fixed rate for your time so you are my rate is, for example, $1,500 for a week of my time. Do I think we can build your project in a week? Yes, I estimate your project will be built in a week, but I'm not charging you $1,500 for your site. I'm charging you $1,500 for a week's worth of my time. Do you want to work with me or not? And it's a great middle ground, and it, and it works perfect. And, um, and that way, if, if your client adds extra into the scope, they understand that it's going to take more time, and that's what they've been purchasing your time. Um, and if you do the if you do the project faster, maybe you want to um, give the client some of the money back if you've got it done in, in less time and uh, keep it fair like that. So anyway, it's a little short video on on pricing. Uh, and I, I recently did an interview with uh, Chris, the freelancer. If you haven't seen it, you can click the link above and, and take a look. And ever since I put that video out, I've been getting a lot more questions about freelancing. So I'm going to be making more and more videos answering them. I hope they're helpful. Pricing is a big thing um, for freelancers online. It's something that we all struggle with, including myself, and we're constantly, constantly refining it all the time. Um, it's a big, it's probably one of the biggest challenges to freelancing, in all honesty. So, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about website pricing, pricing for freelance projects, how you do it, maybe you have a more effective method. Um, like I say, it's always a work in progress for me and for everybody else, so it'd be great to hear your thoughts below. And until next time, this is Brett from brettdev.com, and we're out. Peace.